Welcome to New Tech Zone YouTube channel. Subscribe our YouTube channel to get notified mind blowing latest tech news. Thank you. Guys, in this video guide, I'm going to show you how to fix LAN network problem. LAN means local area network, which means connect your computer and router through LAN cable. So let's see how to fix no and no network access in your LAN network. So so let's see how to do this. First, you can see here there is an icon something like this this is the icon LAN network so once you drag your mouse over here you can see the appears no internet access and unidentified network no internet access so so once you you can see here there is a small icon in yellow color so we, we, this says the LAN network is not connected or it is in issue so let's see how to solve this issue there are several methods let's try one by one first you have to make sure that you have physically connected your LAN network correctly to your computer and make sure the router is working properly without any issue to other devices So now go to LAN network icon and click on right click and click on open network sharing center. So here you can see there is option change adapter settings or you can go to this place through your control panel. Click on start and click on control panel and make sure you have enabled view by large icons and click on network and sharing center and click on change adapter setting so here you can see there is option local area connection so this is the local area connection of your LAN network router so let's disable this and enable right click on it and click disable and you can now you can see here the appears cross mark no co not connected no connections are available so again let's go to here and right click and enable and let's wait some time. now you can see identifying no internet access and here you can see still the issue was not fixed now let's check second method click on right click on your com my computer and click on manage and here you can see there is option device manager click on it and you can find here network adapters So you can find here there is a small arrow icon in front of network adapters click on it and here you can see Broadcom Netlink TM Gigabyte Ethernet so this is the driver of my LAN network of my LAN network so this will vary computer to computer so what I am going to do is what I am going to do simply I am going to disable network adapter and enable it again. So to do this all you have to do is right click on it and click disable and it will ask disabling this device will cause it to stop functioning do you really want to disable it and click on yes. So once you disable now you can see again your LAN network icon got appeared cross mark you can see here once you drag your mouse over here it says not connected no connection are available and again go to the same place and right click on it and click enable 
so you can see here so it start to identifying network driver so let's wait some time you can see here again it got appeared yellow mark and still the issue is fixed so let's try third method third method let's go to the same path as last time right click on my computer and click on manage and click on device manager and you can see there is option network adapter so what i'm going to do is simply i'm going to uninstall network adapter and install it again to do this right click on broadcam netlink gigabyte ethernet and click on uninstall and it will ask warning you are about to uninstall the device from your system so don't tap on here just uninstall uninstall this from your computer and click ok so now you can see your network driver is completely uninstalled from your system and you can't find any more this here also you can find again the cross mark appear so let's try to install it again to do this you can see here there is a small icon scan for hardware changes here you can see so simply click on this button so the message came broadcam netlink gigabyte ethernet successfully installed to your computer and you can see again the network driver start identifying and you can find still the issue is same still again it appears yellow mark and your network driver problem was not fixed so let's try fourth method okay now let's try fourth method go to the same place as last time right click on my computer and click on manage and click on device manager and you can find network adapter so in this fourth method what i'm going to do is i'm going to uninstall and delete the driver completely from my system and i'm going to install it again to do this make sure you have your network driver in your computer so i have my network computer on my computer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uninstall and remove the file completely from my system to do this right click and click on uninstall and it will say warning you are about to uninstall this device from your system also you can see there is a small checkbox appeared delete the driver software for this device so i'm going to click this now and click ok so driver is com completely uninstalled from my system and you can't see anymore my network driver appearing here also the cross mark appears so once you click on scan for hardware changes it will not install here you can see device driver software was not successfully installed so i'm going to i have to click on this and the other devices and other ethernet control icon appear so what i'm going to do is right click on here and click scan for ha hardware changes and still you can't find your software it says was not successfully installed so again right click on it and click update driver software so i have my driver in my computer so what i'm going to do is i'm give i'm going to give the path of my net network driver so i'm going to click here browse my computer for driver software and i'm going to enable my path so i have my driver in e drive and driver i3 desktop and network and broadcom network broadcom netlink tm gigabyte ethernet so this is the driver path of my computer simply you have to view exact path of your network driver and click ok and click next so it says install driver and windows has successfully updated your driver software click close minimize and now you can see again it start identifying still the same result 
it got yellow mark and your LAN network issue was not fixed so let's try fifth method click on the network driver here and click on open network sharing center so once you tap on here you can find this computer multiple network and internet so between multiple network and internet you can find there is a cross mark icon if you drag your mouse over here it will say click to troubleshoot problem so let's click on it and see if this work or not so you can see here there is appearing detecting, pro detecting problems looking for problems in the connectivity So the final message appears, troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem, you can try exploring the other channel that might be helpful. So, so this also didn't work, so let's close the troubleshoot and find the method 6. Method number 6. So let's see method number 6. Click on LAN driver icon and click on open network and sharing center and you can see here under view your active networks area there, is, there are two networks home network and public network so let's try to remove this once you drag your mouse over here it will appear hand symbol and click on it and here you can see network na network name as identified network and also you can find here there is option merge or delete network locations click on it and here I can see only one network location so if in your computer if there are multiple network location try to delete here once you select you can merge or delete here so in this in my com in this case I have only one network location so I can't delete or merge so if you find more network location in this area you can simply click on it and delete and see if this works or not so in my case this method also not worked so let's see method number seven number seven I'm going to try it will be different which means I am going to try to insert my physical dongle into my computer so let's see how to do this now I am going to insert my dongle device into my computer so here I have inserted my dongle so before you insert make sure you have disable local area connection so I have already disabled it now here you can see there appears a new connection mobile broadband connection so let's wait this is my mobile broadband connection software so I don't want this software so I'm going to close this so all you have to do is once you connected your dongle click on here and open network sharing center and click on change adapter setting and here you can see there are two network connection now local area connection and mobile broadband connection here simply what I'm going to do is enable mobile broadband connection okay now you can see here my mobile broadband connection has enabled so what I'm going to do is click so it's already connected now you can see the data is already connected here you can see here you can see my mobile data is already connected mobile broadband connection 43 mbps and I have already connected so now go to back and you can see there are only one there is a only one network connection which is home network so now what I'm going to do is again I'm going to tap change adapter setting and click and going to enable local area connection so now it's enabling identifying network so 
so let's wait okay that's it now my LAN driver has enabled and you can see now still there is only one network so what I'm going to do is click change adapter settings and now I'm going to disable my mobile broadband connection okay that's it now you can see my LAN network has connected that's great you can see here I'm going to show you this I'm going to zoom I'm going to zoom you can see here currently connected to home network and it's worked so let's check and see so here you can see I'm, I will show you again open network center and you can see here my mobile broadband connection ha has disabled and only my LAN network is enabled so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check is this working or not I'm going to my Chrome browser and click on Google wow that works so I'm going to YouTube that's it I'm going to Facebook or whatever so the problem has solved hope you guys enjoyed my video if you like my video please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel also if you know more methods or tricks to enable or fix local area connection issue please don't forget to comment below thank you guys if you like our videos please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to stay tuned more awesome latest tech videos thank you